calling the action there. Right now, it's Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano on the front row. We're racing in the Poconos. There was the prediction. They'll fan out after they go past the start finish line. Four, five, six wide, but they've got to narrow down to turn one and just two wide. They come into turn number one. It'll be Kevin Harvick away with the lead. Logano the second, and now they start to stack it up for third as they race their way up to the tunnel turn. There you see Kyle Busch way down on the inside trying to take that third spot side by side with his teammate, Eric Jones. They dive down into the tunnel. to the inside, a lot of action back in the pack. They're gonna have to get sorted out from that three wide, getting into this corner again. Everybody needs to be singled out because you don't want to lose that momentum. Eric Jones trying to make it on the outside of Bush. 11 of Hammond diving underneath him. Top two are nose to tail, but then behind them, the fight for third, three wide as they cross the stripe. Kyle Bush trying to come up the middle, Eric Jones on the outside. And look at this, that's a salute right there to Nick Harrison. It was on lap 11. He was the crew chief for the Xfinity Series car number 11 and passed away last Saturday right after that Xfinity Series race. But Kyle Busch comes out of turn three looking at the front stretch. He will see the green and white checkered. He wins stage one at Pocono. Caution is out. Hard damage to the right wow. side of that car. He was running blew six. Right front tire. There you heard it. Blew a right front tire. You can see drives in the corner, just early, early contact. Really hard, hard impact for Chase Elliott. Look at this battle car, three wide. The 41 is Flores with a run on Newman. Brian Blaney, does he know they're three wide? Oh, the 41's gonna drift up a little bit, he's loose. They're in the fence. Brian Blaney's in the wall in the back straightaway. All right, Blaney has done a nice job of recovering, but then he's got damage. You see the Suarez has damage on his right rear. A lot of smoke on Suarez. Both of those cars are headed to pit road. Blaney spinning, Blaney spinning in three. He's against the wall, not heavy contact. Got a wreck behind you in three. Caution is going to come out. The 18 of Kyle Busch was on pit road. And now the caution is out. 12 car. The 41, uh, we're, before this, the 41 dove down in the corner and got loose, got up into the 12. That carried both those guys up the track and into the fence, and obviously, you see the damage in the smoke. Yeah, you see Blaney right there in the back. He's got a tire down. See the car wiggling, ends up spinning out, which actually was a break for Blaney. A little bit of contact, but not. How about this, Rick? Yes. Jimmy Johnson comes in below the playoff cut line, wins the second stage. <laughs> Well, not only wins the second stage, but this is only his second career stage win. Check that right. stat. That can't be right. <laughs> I know it. Crazy. Jimmy Johnson's second career stage win. He gets it here at stage two. Which is Jad Johnson not comfortable with at all. Oh, they look to turn build on that. Ryan got Priest trouble. is up at into the wall. Hard contact for Priest, who came into turn number one sideways and slammed into the safer barrier. Right side is demolished. Back end demolished as well. Solo car trip into the wall. Ryan Priest in trouble here in Pocono. Bagley calling. Loose down into the corner. Man, a big slide and a huge impact. That was absolutely massive when he came in there and he just nailed that safer barrier right there. He rode it for a moment, but the right side is done. That car is done, and what a hard contact. And this is how it looked for where I was standing here. All of a sudden, I had to look over and like, <laughs> whoa, where's the button? There we found the button, and it was Ryan Priest. That was the reason for the caution flag. Took us totally off guard. Didn't expect that to happen. But when it did, it was big, as they tend to be here in one at Pocono. Another fantastic electric finish. Hamlin, Trucks Jr., back to green. Hamlin with a great restart. They fan out behind him. Can Hamlin hold him off as they go to one? This is for all the marbles here in Pocono. Four or five wide mid-pack up front. Denny Hamlin away with a lead. He'll slide up the racetrack. Here comes Eric Jones across the nose of Truex. The 20 to the inside, and there's still three, four, five wide mid-pack. Oh, we got cars in the fence on the back straightaway. Kurt Busch hard in the wall. They were three or four wide out there. Looks like Stenhouse is being hit. Oh, Kurt's wrecking the car. Kurt's in the fence. Hang on, 
blew a tire and just lost control of the car. Got into 34 and turned him around. Wild action on that restart. We're gonna get another one. It looked like those guys were three or four wide there and no room for Kurt on the outside coming off of turn one down there, Bagley. Not at all. We talked about the four and five wide nature, Junior. When they came out of one, and it was obviously Kurt Busch on the short end of the stick, and Daniel Suarez also uh, received a penalty middle, for a restart middle. violation. Still middle four wide. Still four. Still four. And the issue there is you can't lift. Still inside. You know, the, 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 with, with the way the rules are, on if Kurt in. lists on, for what's happening man. around him, by Credit One Bank, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones. Two laps to go. 19 stays in line, continues to push that 20 as they head down the front stretch. Further back, they are flaring out three, four, five wide up front. Denny Hamlin's trying to get away. Right now he comes into the corner. Looking wide is Kyle Larson. Larson's in the mix. He'll go to the outside of Jones. Side by side for second. And it's Larson in the wall off to off one. Yeah, Larson lost a little bit of grip there. It's going to cost him a position or two here. Denny Hamlin way out in front. Clear sailing for the 11 car. Jones into second. Here comes Truex into third. Kevin Harvick into fourth. Eric Jones with a good tunnel turn, though. Made up a lot of ground on Denny Hamlin getting into the corner. Look at this battle. Daniel Hemrick all day long has been toward the front of the back, now fighting Kevin Harvick. And how about William Byron in the 24 also coming into the mix? The big question now, do they have enough fuel to get all the way back to the start-finish line? One more lap around. Hamlin, Jones, Truex Jr., one, two, three. Here they come, final time off the end of the front straightaway. Does everybody have enough fuel? Further back, almost down, onto the apron is Kyle Larson. Larson trying to regroup as Denny Hamlin brings him off turn one for the final time this afternoon here in Pocono. Headed toward the tunnel turn for the final time. Denny Hamlin, all eight cylinders still hitting here. Still got the fuel to keep this car going. His teammate, Eric Jones, also close on fuel right in his tracks as they exit the tunnel turn. Everybody's still up to speed. The long racetrack, though, still time to run out of fuel. Will these guys have enough fuel to get to the end? Denny Hamlin has this race in hand as long as he has enough fuel. Right behind him, Eric Jones looking for his first ever win in the Cup Series. But Denny Hamlin is going to be the spoiler today, his 34th career win. You damn right, Denny Hamlin. Way to go, babe. We're proud of you in this. We're going to keep bringing it. Denny Hamlin wins his third race of 2019 in the Monster Energy Cup Series. Denny Hamlin, that last year, he wasn't able to find victory lane, couldn't win. This year, his third win already. And he's getting good at celebrating. This victory, fueled by Sunoco. Fuel your best. Start finish line, Marty.